We hope that we have a perfect flight with us today. We will be taking off soon, and I'd like to bring to your attention a few safety features of the Concorde. The Concorde has exits in the main entrance, and in the rear, and over the wings. Would you take a look at this cockpit? There's more buttons, switches, and dials than I've ever seen in my life. I'm glad the pilots have it figured out, because I wouldn't have the foggiest idea how to fly this plane. It takes three people to fly a Concorde, a pilot, a co-pilot, and a flight engineer. It takes three people to fly a Concorde, a pilot, a co-pilot, and a flight engineer. The pilot is the person who's in charge of flying the plane, and the co-pilot helps out the pilot. Oxygen mass. O, X, Y, G, E. N M A S K. An oxygen mask fits over the nose and mouth to help a person breathe. The mask is connected to a tube that carries oxygen. There is an oxygen mask for everyone on board an airplane. If the plane loses oxygen during an emergency, the mask drops down from the ceiling, ready to be strapped on by each passenger. Pilot. P. I. L. O. T. The pilot is the person who sits at the controls and flies the plane. It is the pilot's job to make sure the passengers and cargo arrive safely at the airport. Sometimes a pilot is helped by a second pilot called a co pilot. Would you take a look at this cockpit? There's more buttons, switches, and dials than I've ever seen in my life. I'm glad the pilots have it figured out, because I wouldn't have the foggiest idea how to fly this plane. Check out this airplane. It's a Concorde Jet, the fastest passenger airplane around. This is a small plane that's sometimes called a commuter plane because people can commute or travel short distances in it. Compared to those big jets, this plane is dinky. Some of the big planes can hold 400 passengers, but this little guy here only seats about 10.
In order to move through the air, this little plane uses its propeller. The bigger jet airplanes don't have propellers. Instead, they have giant jet engines that suck in air and push it out, making them go, and fast. As for me, when I fly, I use my wings and a lot of energy. There's the control tower over there. That's where the air traffic controllers are. It's their job to tell the pilots when they can take off and land their planes. Cabin window. Rudder. R U D D E R. The rudder is on the back of the fin. Using the rudder and ailerons, the pilot can turn the plane to the left or right. The people who direct the airplanes from the control towers are called air traffic controllers. Hello. Traffic controllers use all kinds of instruments, radios, radar, signal lights, and a whole lot of other stuff to help the airplanes when they take off and land. Air traffic controller. A I R T R A F F I C C O N T R O L L E R The air traffic controller works in the airport's tower. This person tells the pilots when it's time to land or take off. By making sure the planes come in and go when it's their turn, the air traffic controller keeps the airport running smoothly and safely. This plane is getting ready to take off. That little yellow push-out tug is about to push it back from the gate. The gray truck 
right there is the galley service truck. Galley is a fancy word for kitchen. The back half of the truck moves way up high, so the food for the passengers can be quickly loaded through one of the plane doors. That's the jetway over there. It's like a hallway that lets passengers walk from the gate to the airplane. <laughs> 